Searching for a better way And then I found you I lay He gave me nationality And brought me back to reality I was searching for a better way And then I found you I lay He gave me nationality And brought me back to reality I was searching Life's work with a little more aid and the fight hurt to keep me here a little longer, just a little stronger. Keep me upon the dream and praying, mother, stop burying the babies in the dirt. How life work no longer mysticized when I lift my eyes. This is how the strife hurt when I'm confined to a mind that only believes in false hopes. Strained through a sea of lies down the drain where the soul lurks. Couldn't believe my eyes, years searching, broken. How could I deny what you've stolen? Cheating only leaves me peace in the breakdowns mentally. Single mother raised four, two sons, two daughters, and a second daughter only meant to be another single mother. She raised four And only princess knew that she gon' add to the score It's a team effort, right? As the cycle repeats my Socio-political economic defeat Sweep me right from under my feet Short days, long nights Cold hungry in the streets Brothers and sisters from another mister Still I'm left alone to defend my demons Still left to own this life from the egg and semen Make dirty wrongs clean, right? Friends turn enemies, loved ones' memories fade No pretty picture Watch the vibration raise on the... And this, this statue was, this, mo this statue was in the middle of, of the, the walkthrough. So here is the subway station, Mohenstrasse, you see it, right? And 
you have statues. This guy here is Jakob von Keith, and he was the a general field marshal. Okay. So you're saying a that field there, there, yeah. was a, uh, there was a trend that any of the dark statues yeah, that they would be more. So. Yeah, right. you know, supposedly that's the that's the the Masonic. Uh, that's the, code, that's right, the Masonic yeah. code that a lot of people don't know. So even if that's not true, mm -hmm. let's you bypass that. All right. Mm -hmm. Wait, I got something to show you. So that's because uh, there's a couple statues around here of people that I know that are Greek, but I'm wondering whether they're mm -hmm. trying to feed off of that. Right. Feed off of that energy still. Mm -hmm. Whether mm -hmm. right, they're not truly more in terms right. of their skin color, but but they could they could they're wanting to feed off of that. But energy. they could also be, like, if it's Greek, they could also be amalgamated Moors. Right, there you go. So, okay, so there you know there. what I mean? So there you go. So this is a, a general, uh, a general um, field marshal. All right? That's one image that I saw. That's one statue that I saw. Um, this one here, which is kind of dark, uh, but I'll show it anyways. This is uh, Friedrich um, Welm von Seidlich. Okay, and it says uh, General, Cavalier General. Okay, it's dark as well. So there's that one. Who's that, General? That's, uh, yeah, Cavalier General. It says General the Cavalier, so it's Cavalier General. Then. This one is Kurt Christoph Graf von Schwerin. Don't know where that is. And he is a field, a general field marshal as well. So he has the flag, and he's doing his thing. He has a sword. Now keep in mind, like I said, this is all on the little walk area of War Street in Berlin. And this is Hans Karl von Winterfeld, and he is general lieutenant. Okay. Okay. So the last one to me is the most interesting. But first, I'm going to show you, that's kind of like the area that you see. You see um, statue there, statue there, and it goes further back. All back there you see statues. Now this is um, General von Zeiten, and this is, this is supposedly this what I understand is this: all these people were in his cavalier, so he was the head of the the cavalry. Cavalry, cavalry. So he was the general of the cavalry. And check him out. What do you see? Fez, feather. Here's a get a close up of his face. So he has a fez and a feather. Right? <laughs> Posing. <laughs> this side shot, you can see the tassels. Okay. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And he has the cape and the Shivatar sword. <laughs> now, I actually googled him and and uh, I googled him and I got a little bit of information on Wikipedia from him. I know Wikipedia is not the, the the best sources, but you know, here's another close up of him. And he was this was before Germany was formed, obviously. So this was in uh, six. He's from 1699 to 1786 and was a cavalry general in the Perusian army. And he served in numerous wars and battles and uh, 
during the reign of Frederick the Great. So I found it really interesting and I took, these are pictures I took with my own camera. And I find it really interesting on Moore Street, you have a Moore with the fez, with the feather, with the tassels, with the cape, and with the shivatar. <laughs> so I, I, you know, it doesn't get any more clear than that. And when you, when you Wikipedia him, um, you can tell that he was uh, amalgamated more, like he was a light-skinned more. And he had the, the leopard cape and everything on it. So. Don't talk about it, talk about it, don't talk about it, talk about it, don't talk about it, talk about it, don't talk about, talk about, 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 don't talk about what you see behind closed doors. Don't talk about business that you know that ain't yours. Better not talk about what happened in 04, but you could talk about what you hear from Kane and Lamb Morris. Bet you won't talk about when you were on all fours. The times you wanted to experiment, explore. Most don't talk about the childhood they endured. It's psychological, need I say more? But all you do is talk shit, yeah, I know that you're bored. Talk all you want about me, I've been learning to ignore. Don't talk about facts if you know you ain't sure. Let's talk about the reasons why we can't stop wars. Don't talk about it, talk about it, don't talk about it, talk about it. Don't talk about, talk about, don't talk about, talk about, don't talk about, talk about. Watch for democracies, hypocrisy, philosophies, fear and shock factories, pseudo pop mockeries and poppy fields, block and swing and chops without Moroccan shields, industry demonic for reverse and spokes and sovereign wheels, coffin fields empty, buried in the battlefields, working on the streets is walking in some cattle fields. King Alfred bruise him, love a mental snoozing, sleepwalking and talking, cell phones are soothing, minds disappearing, genetic memory erasing, don't even have a job or they get you for tax evasion, hot like a frying pan, crying fam, lion men, use guys as fire men, no loyalty, just fire friends. This is from Google Earth. I just pulled this uh, approximately six weeks ago or so. Google Earth. My oh, brother, don't, don't let me interrupt you, but... Let's let's take a pause for the cause right now. Okay. What what um so you're going around this place where you where you know you've lived for all these years, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And you're bumping into this information, right? In a place where, you know, they say you're not from and you know, you have to go back to Africa mm -hmm. and you know, they might they might even have people over there that are that are um, you know, I don't, know, I don't want to use the term race because I know they probably don't deal with it over there, but you probably get abused being how, how you look, you mm. know, just like mm. we do everywhere in the world, you know yeah. what I mean? But what, how, how, how does this solidify in your mind your connection to more as opposed to black and whatever else that we've been taught that, that, that we are? Well, it's interesting that you asked me that because... Um, <clears throat> A friend of mine is a teacher and she teaches high school and she teaches the highest level of high school which is called gymnasium and when I started coming on this information she was like yeah that's what we learn in school that black people are more it's like they're more that's what we learn so I'm like really like you never told me that before but then I never asked <laughs> so then I started uh, you know, the more I started learning, I started talking to another friend of mine, um, Florian, and he's a gym teacher. And, um, you know, I was telling him I was taking some online courses and he was asking me what about it. And I said, the Moors. And he said, yeah, we know, we know black people is more, like black people is Moors. We learn as Moors. But then, and he told me, this is exact, his exact words. He said, but then you guys started calling yourselves black and Negro and so on. Mm -hmm. And so we just said, okay, that's what you call yourself, so obviously we're going to call you that. That's this, what he told me. So, so, and this is a European? This is a European. This is a European telling you this. Yeah. So-called slave master telling yeah. you that 
you chose to call yourself yeah. those names and they're not the, the jurisdiction was created and we jumped in it willingly yeah. yeah so that means we put ourselves in we took we took ourselves out of prisoner of war status and put ourselves in slavery status yeah that's pretty much it hmm. i mean what he was telling me is like we follow the the u.s is such that the america i should say is so powerful in the images that it spreads to the rest of the world that he was he was basically saying like we just follow you guys in the united states in the united states of america we just follow you so if you say you're pink okay you're pink that was pretty much it he said you guys started calling yourselves black and negro and so that's what we just that's what we we follow suit because you know yourselves better but he learned you know us as more that's what they learned in, that's what he learned in school and he's 30 years old and he's a gym teacher now so awesome. you know and then there's another another um let me get to this image actually that leads me into this next image no go, yeah go yeah. ahead go ahead brother it shows yours um <clears throat> A friend of mine, another friend of mine, another Florian. There's a lot of flows in um, flows in in Germany. Uh, he's 26, I believe, and we play basketball um, together and stuff. And I was telling him what I'm learning and stuff like that. And <clears throat> he he told me he came to me and he said, well, he thought that more was a derogatory statement because. When he went to the Volksfest, which is um, kind of like a traveling amusement park that comes around twice a year to Nuremberg, called Volksfest, Volk, Volksfest. He said that um, at certain booth that they, they sell ice cream at certain booths, it's chocolate ice cream, and they call it ice more, which means ice is ice cream and more more. They call it ice more, and <clears throat> he said something like, some people petitioned. I think it was the Europeans or something, but I'm not 100% sure. But some people petitioned thinking that that was a derogatory mark and they wanted to take that out because it was tied to ice cream and stuff like that. Um, so he thought it was removed. Now, <laughs> this blew me away because I went to the Volksfest. It came back. It comes twice a year. And I went to the one in fall. And I went around with, my, with another friend of mine, Robbie, that I play, also play basketball with. And they still had to stand there. And I took a picture of it. Now, if you see at the top here, it says Ice More. And you see in the corner right there, that's the logo. And I blew it up, and this is it. Ice More. For one euro fifty or two euros. And this is still there. This I just took this in... I think September it was when I went. He makes himself up to appear to be one thing today and another tomorrow Bringing innocent yet unaware believers to his side To be fleeced by his minions and cohorts While he yet lingers with the people Secretly sucking on their energies and living off of their virtues He positions himself to cause them to believe that he suffers as they do He feels the pain which they bear All the while growing fat from their energies Enshrined by their attention he stores up so much of their borrowed power, he is able to produce monsters out of it. Reflections, illusions which resemble himself, appearing to be caring and comforting. These doppelgangers, these abominations, he uses as diversions for his escape. Yet his destination is never far, for without the will of the many people to propel him, he is more or less a flightless creature. A creature of almost no substance and no will other than to survive. A cosmic nomad of nefarious origins, he has stumbled upon this planet, exiled from all other sentient civilized systems he once haunted. A being not so much living as lived, existing mainly within the lower, baser regions of the mind. 
partial to no particular environment, complexion, or political system, he is a bounty hunter. A mercenary who subcontracts his work to willing yet unaware volunteers who forfeit their true profits to him. To the victor go the spoils, but to the negro goes a more lively and valuable treasure. Like a leech he grows off of the lifeblood of the living, infecting others and leading them to an existence of the same. An existence that projects scarcity where there is abundance, fear where there is love, and darkness that can only pretend to cover the light. Honors to the Prophet Noble Drew Ali for leading us out of the darkness and into the marvelous light, and for reminding us that we are not Negro, Black, or Colored, but Moors. Much more. Much more. Much more. I was searching for a better way And then I found you, I lay